Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? I'm interrupting the Pocket Now Daily just for a second to remind you about the Pocket Now Weekly, our podcast hosted by yours truly and brought to you by, of course, Pocket Now and XDA developers. You can tune in every single week either here on YouTube Live on Fridays, unless otherwise stated, or you can make sure to be subscribed to the podcast using whatever podcast application you like. Tune in to hear the ramblings of people like myself, Jaime Rivera, Jules Wong, Brandon Miniman, special guests, and maybe some of the podcasts might be done in special places. You can also get into the conversations by using the hashtag PN Weekly over on Twitter and on social media. So go ahead and fire up your podcast app and join us on the weekly. That's it for me here. I'm going to go ahead and pop it over back to Jaime. We get leaks of the front panels of the Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro that show us notches and screen resolution. It looks like the Google Pixel 3 XL leaks were just a hoax, according to some speculation. And the Nokia Pentalens phone is back at it again, and now we hear the camera features? I'm Jaime Rivera, and now you won't have to joke about it. It is Friday, but I can't celebrate because I've got work, and then we've got travel, which is awesome. This is Pocket Now Daily. So the official news today have to do with deals to a certain degree. Those of you that want the Galaxy Note 9 and want the dual SIM variant, or just let's even forget about the case of the dual SIM because it's 859 bucks for all color options. And again, it also has dual SIM options. Now there is no word on this eBay seller when it comes to warranties. We do see color options uh, and definitely it won't work on Sprint or Verizon, or it might, because uh, it's got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. That's the case. Now let's talk about that Penta Lens Nokia as uh, we spent a long time in the Paganel Weekly today discussing the whole design of the camera, whether it's real or not. We hear that one of these cameras is going to blur things out, the other one is going to do telephoto functions, and for me it just looks like the weirdest case of design ever that I really doubt will ever happen. But then again, I am hoping I am wrong, because if they could pull out the banana phone, they could do this too. Now let's talk about Apple when it comes to iPhones. We're so close to the event that obviously rumors are going to intensify. We heard rumors of uh, the device gaining USB-C and it will sort of. USB-C to lightning. You're still gonna get lightning charging, but faster charging through USB-C to the adapter at 18 watts. That's all great, uh, but then again, technology is not gonna change there. Just keep in mind, again, it is probably the best time to buy a new iPhone. If you're in the market, Swap has got some really good deals. Or also, for those of you that currently have an iPhone, definitely the best time to list your current device before the event to get the best resale value. You can learn more about that in the description. Now, let's talk about Google in a very interesting turn of events as uh, Google is already prepping for its event that's now official for uh, October 9th. We are definitely hoping that we can be there covering it live, but it's interesting that uh, apparently the company reached out to another channel, Front Page Tech, I love their work, and uh, well, he reached out to uh, get uh, certain uh, access to footage that would uh, mock uh, the Pixel. Uh, the design that we've seen leaked, and so it turns into this conspiracy theory over the fact that we just went through the whole Mission Impossible thing in Russia. Now apparently, this probably points out to the fact that if they want footage that mocks the design of the pixels, it's because it's probably a hoax. Uh, hard to predict, we're still close to the event. We'll see how that evolves. And finally, the hot news today have to do with the Huawei Mate 20, Mate 20 Pro. Event is on the 16th, that is official as well in October. We are definitely going to be covering that. Uh, but uh, if you remember for the launch of the Mate 10, uh, we were sort of disappointed with the Mate 10 having a better screen than the Mate 10 Pro. Uh, so uh, now we hear cases like, for example, that we're gonna get the Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro with a better display on the Mate 20 Pro, but a larger notch. And we still don't know exactly why there's going to be a larger notch. Could it be that we've got better facial recognition? Whatever the case may be, let us know in the comments what you think. Look at the leaks of the panels. Let us know, do you like the design of that teardrop on the regular Mate 20? Is that larger notch going to pull you away from the Mate 20 Pro? Because in my case, again, I honestly, at this point, I really don't care. Leave us a comment down below. We would love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.